this tutorial, I'm going to show you some different watercolor techniques to create sandy textures and also some blended effects in your sky. So the great thing about watercolor is that we can use them um, in different ways than we would use regular paint because they are so light and watery, they blend beautifully. Now, when you first get your watercolors, you might have a couple um, that are a little yucky looking because someone else might have had trouble um, with cleaning their brush properly when they got a different color. So if that happens, start out just getting a paper towel, dip your finger in it, and just give it a little rub to clean, okay? And just get most of that gook off. I would also like you to take a look at your lid because we're going to be using this and if that is dirty dip some water in and give that a quick clean because our lid actually is meant to be a little mixing palette which is why there's little tiny sections in it so you can mix multiple colors. So now that my watercolor paints are all ready to go I'm going to start showing you some of our first techniques. So when we made our sand castles, um, we didn't add any dot textures or anything like that because we knew that we were going to be using the watercolor salt technique. So what we want to do to start out is on our palette, we want to get some brown and we want to put it in one of the wells and then we're gonna add some water. So if you see here, there's like, it's almost like a little fence that is preventing the water from getting out of there. And I wanna kinda of make a little bit of watery brown paint for myself so that I can put it on here quickly and then sprinkle my salt. So I will have these little cupcake wrappers with salt in them and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use this to create a um, sand texture. So I'm going to paint an area at a time of my sand castle and I don't want to do much more than this for now because I'm then going to take a little pinch of sand and I'm going to just sprinkle it on there. Now notice I'm just doing like a little bit of sprinkling. I'm not dumping the whole cup of sand on there but you can already see that the salt is absorbing some of the water and that's gonna create some of that texture, all right? So you would do that on your whole sand castle. So a little bit of painting, a little bit of salting. Um, you can choose to go lighter or darker with some of your areas of your sand castle, but just know that if you put um, salt on top of dry watercolor, it's not going to have the salty effect or the, the sandy grainy effect. It's just going to kind of sit on top of it as if you spilled um, if you spilled salt on top of it. You can even go back on top of the areas where you already put salt and add a little more watercolor and you can see that some graininess is showing up, which is super cool. Now I'm just going to show you some techniques for um, the sky. And then at the end, I'll show you some ways to make it look like your windows have a little bit of indentation to give them a nice value. So for our sky, instead of just painting it solid blue, it kind of looks cool if you have some different colors going on. So you can pick colors like sunset or sunrise colors, or you can pick multiple shades of blue. And what we wanna do it's just sort of do some little streaks of color. Now, if it's an area that's close to the castle, I always say start your brush at the edge and then work out so that you don't wind up accidentally overlapping your castle. Then you can get another color that's sort of close to it on the color wheel. And my brush is very wet and I'm just sort of blending them together. And this also can work really cool if you did a sun and you don't want it to look like one of those little kids stick suns. Um, hold on one second, I'll show you how to do this. You can create sort of a glow. So let's say I had my sun in the sky and I did my little circle. What you can do is paint that yellow to start 
And then you can get maybe like some yellow orange and do a little glow around it. And then you can take another color like orange and sort of blend it into it. So I painted my orange and then I went back over the yellow and just sort of blended them together like that. And now you have this beautiful glow, which looks so much more real than if you did the sun with the little sticks, which is what we're trying to move away from doing because we wanna to start to learn how to do things that have a little bit more realism in them. Now you can also use those sandy techniques um, on the sand of your beach. And these blending techniques that I'm using in the sky also look beautiful in the water. So maybe you take some blue green and some blue and mix them together in the water to get that sort of technique. I mean that, that sort of look as well. Um, and that's just gonna add a little bit more interest to your painting. And the final thing that I wanna show you is with a detail brush, which is one of these little green ones. If we, instead of taking the paint from here, take it directly from the brown and paint inside the windows like this, it can create a little bit of a shadow look or darker value um, of the sand color that sort of makes it look like the windows are indented a little. So it just adds a little bit more interest to it. And the last final, final thing I wanna show you is how to make some cool colors for your shells. So remember, we have our little wells where we can mix. So I like to get a little bit of the white and mix a touch of brown into it and then don't paint the whole shell, but just do some little lines. This also works beautifully with pink and orange or red and orange. So you could do a little bit of red, make sure you wash your brush in between before you get more paint. And then you have like these beautiful little pink colors and you can not paint the whole shell, but just add like some little highlights on them and it really looks like a real shell. So I hope that you enjoy doing some of these different techniques, um, like you can do the water on your moat, on your ocean, the sky blending, the salty techniques. Um, have lots of fun with this, and don't forget to cover the entire thing with paint.